Right, and welcome back. Um, last week we pulled apart the 808 and we had a look at some vintage uh, you know, components and uh, how the actual multimeter worked. And I said to you that I had some vintage um, resistors, okay? And um, here they are. I've actually got them, and this is how you used to get them, okay? On uh, card or paper sheets, okay? And um, yeah, these are the uh, old what's been, which is now um, effectively, you know, affectionately known as the um, dog bum resistor, okay? But, um, well, simply because of the shape, because it looks like a bone, okay? If you know what I said. And uh, yeah, back in the day, these used to be, um, uh, you know, there wasn't any. Uh, digital control machines and stuff like that, making up these all mechanically made um, wire wrapping, well, these, well, I suppose I should explain, these are wire wrapped resistors. Okay, so I had a um, machine to actually wire wrap and things like that. Didn't have any, um, you know, hugely, you know, microprocessor control job, it was wrapping at certain speeds down to, you know, how many revolutions per second and all that sort of stuff and winding it along and back on an arm. Uh, that technology hasn't really changed today except it's a lot more faster, a lot more accurate and uh, things have machined up quite, you know, uh, engineered a lot, lot better so you can produce more of these very, very quickly. Uh, back in the day, you know, you couldn't. So, and um, also I mentioned that, uh, yeah, these ones are the back in the day, you um, hand wrote your uh, resistor values directly onto these. Okay, if you take a look into here, I don't know if you can see it too clearly. Uh, there, there it is, it's um, oh, a 3.3 kilo ohms, this one. Uh, 5%, okay, the only thing on here that was actually printed was the uh, logo, okay, that's how old they are, and um, even uh, more, you know, these were bloody expensive because, you know, take a look at the end, what material is it, I don't know if you can see, okay, it's actually a uh, brass end cap, so you use brass for the end caps, okay, not copper, not tin plated copper, not you know, any of this stuff, you know, solid brass. And they would, uh, you know, wire bond similar to how you would do it to a modern day resistor. Okay, your leads onto the uh, end caps, okay, but these are soldered, okay. Not bonded like you have machine bond, these are all, you know, you can see the solders all, solder all blobbed up on the ends, okay. All soldered up, okay. Handwritten values, soldered uh, end caps, brass caps, you know, wire wound compared to the modern day one. Okay, there it is. This is these are actually the modern day equivalent of these. Okay, not much has changed in the way of technology. They're still wire wound. Okay, they're still uh, got leads on the end. They're still bonded to the end. Um, you know. The only real difference is, is that you wrap it with different materials now, okay, different alloys to try and get the accuracy that little bit better, well supposedly better. The end caps aren't brass anymore, okay, actually uh, copper plated, uh, not copper, uh, tin plated copper, I don't think copper plated, it's just been doing some plating, I've got it on my mind at the moment. Anyway, yeah, so what I thought I'd do is to have a, um, a compare, so I've got some 6k8 wire wound um, uh, well win or whatever you want to call the company I can't remember how to pronounce that weird name okay I thought we'll, we'll compare them okay these are like I said uh, 6k8 these ones 5% they're wire wound they're 3 watts and I went out and from far now there it is the packet that I was in it's these okay these are exactly the same, okay, modern day equivalent, they're 5%, they're 6K8, they're 3 watts, they're wire wound, made by the same manufacturer, yes. These guys, okay, if you can see the address on there, still in the same place, still doing exactly the same job. Okay, they're still out there. 
Okay, and that's exactly what these are. So I thought to myself, well, why not compare the two? Do some resistor measurements. See what, if uh, they've strayed, if they're still five percenters, okay? Who thinks they're still five percenters out there? Who knows? I reckon they are. Okay, compare them to these ones, you know. What's more accurate, the old one, the new one, the new one, the old one? Who knows, okay? You never know, we might actually find out that the modern day ones are even crapper than the old ones, okay? And that might explain why a lot of new equipment doesn't last as long as the old equipment, okay? We're all saying it, okay? Everything's engineered, you know, for a lifetime, okay? Well, let's find out. Got my multimeter, okay? I'm just going to use a basic one. For this, okay, I've got a Flute 115. Switch it to our ohms range and we'll have a measure and compare, okay? Find out which one's more accurate. Like I said, they're both 5%, so they should be within the tolerance when we measure them. And uh, if they are, brilliant. If not, we'll soon find out. And uh, we'll find out how close they are to the exact value. So, see you in a couple of seconds while I set up the camera. Right, here we are. I've uh, got my vintage ones here, my multimeter switched on. Got my probes out with a couple of clips on the end to get a, a reasonable connection. There they are. That's the, uh, the uh, new ones there. Okay, so we've got the new, we've got the old. Let's have a uh, take a look. Okay, so first up the old ones. What have we got? Okay, what are these going to be? What have we got on there? 6.79 kilo ohms, yeah. Only uh, 10 ohms out, well within tolerance. Next one down, what have we got? 6.81, again, 10 ohms out, perfectly fine. Again, wee, 6.8 right on the mark. Okay, you can't get any more accurate than that. So, it looks like these old ones are perfectly fine. If anything, they are very, very accurate still. Okay, well, don't touch the probes. You can see it there, doing our measurement, yeah, perfectly fine, moving on. Last one, uh, 20 ohms out, okay, but there you go. Old ones, they look perfectly fine, there's nothing really wrong with them. They are 6K8s, well within their 5% tolerance, you know. And for the new ones, what have we got? These ones are identical, okay, supposedly, ooh. 6.92, 120 ohms out. Still in that within that 5%, but yeah. 6.89, yeah, about 6.86, 6 6.74, 6.89, so the newer ones. Still perfectly fine, still well, well within their tolerance, but accuracy, okay, getting to that ultimate goal of 6.8 kilo ohms, the newer ones are far, far, far further out than the older ones, okay, the older ones are, um, are actually more accurate, so, there you go, you've got some old resistors, have a check at them, okay, you may find that they're more accurate than the newer ones that you buy off the shelf, okay, just because they look old doesn't mean they're any worse. <clears throat> so, from that, which ones would you use? The old style or the new style? Take your pick. Actually, instead of using this one to make it a little bit more accurate, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use, let's grab all one of these. Hey, let's do a four wire measurement, okay? okay? So, I've got my LCR meter here. Uh, this is just a uh, cheap and cheerful Digimess L uh, LCR meter. There's nothing particularly small about like this one. It's a, it's a lot, bit, a lot more accurate at the lower end. Okay, it's a four wire measure. So, all, so some of you might be thinking, why are you using you know uh, a meter, two one meter cables on your own meter? You're going to have you know resistance in that. You didn't zero it out. Well, let's do it on this baby then four wire measurement okay just to get rid of that 
straight resistance okay so we've got it set to resistance overflow okay we're not measuring anything at the moment hopefully you can see that clearly okay so let's have a look these um, old ones let's see what they actually are okay what are these rated to look at that six point yeah, it's oscillating a little bit but it's very close 7.9 6 uh, 7.9 6.79 6.8 very close around that mark what's this one let's do this one what's this one this one was very close to it as well there you go oscillating around 6.8 kilograms yeah so using two multimeters they are there it is on the newer ones 6. Uh, okay this is on the newer one 6.9, 6.92. Yep. So these newer ones are quite far out. Okay, so we'll get rid of those. We'll take a look at the other ones. Okay, these are. Um, I don't know. I'll never learn, will I? If you don't press the bloody power switch down, your camera running off battery doesn't actual fact run out of power. Got to remember that. Good tip. Always make sure that the. Uh, power switch is on anyway top those ones for uh, uh, 2.7k and these ones are the next step up from the um, from those ones which we just done because how can we tell take a look okay if you can see that these are actually being printed on no handwritten uh, just the values on these ones okay they're actually printed same style as the as those other ones and uh, these are meant to be 2.7 uh, Kilogram, so let's see what value you come up with. 2.7. Okay. This one. Yeah. 2.69, 2.7. Yeah. All on the mark. Okay. The older ones really, when they made a resistor to be a particular value, they really did make it to be a value. Okay. 2.7k was as close to 2.7k as they could get it. Okay, you didn't worry about having to, you know, let's manufacture a resistor. Yeah, that will do sort of approach and, um, which is what they got nowadays, you know. That will do it within 5%, yeah, whatever, sling it out. Compared to these old ones, you know. Yeah, it's well within 5% and we're going to make it within 5% and we're not going to do it so it's well out of 5% we, or close to the 5%. We're going to do it so it's close to the actual value it should be. Okay, so we're not really interested in manufacturing. In those days, they weren't interested in manufacturing with intolerance values. They were interested in manufacturing to actual values. Unlike today, okay, cutting corners, cutting costs. We said it's five percent. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if it's about a hundred ohms because you expect it nowadays. Okay. Yeah. So it's the old. Um, you know. Let's see if we can uh, produce cost. I think that's what it mainly was. Okay, anyways, so that's that.